I have an iPhone 6S um, screen assembly, display screen assembly here, and I just want to kind of go over um, why we're not having any 6S, 6S Plus touch IC problems. And um, I kind of look through the schematics, and you know, they, they, the schematics references uh, Mason, the Mason chip, but uh, there's nothing on the logic board of the 6S. Uh, um, logic, yeah. I mean, there's nothing on the logic board um, regarding Mason. So, if you look at the screen here, you can kind of see that uh, this is a 6S screen. You can see this chip right here, okay? And um, I'm gonna go to the other. So, if you look under a microscope, you'll see that um, this chip right here is. Not sure if you can kind of read it or not, but it says 343. It says 343 S0014. Um, and it says 1525. So this is the new Mason chip for um, for the Touch IC. So the Touch IC chip on um, this is actually a 3D Touch IC chip, so I don't know. It, I guess it handles the Force Touch. It handles the Force Touch on these uh, 6S screens and the 6S Plus screens. So they're actually built directly into the screen. So every time you replace a screen, you're replacing the Mason chip. Makes sense, right? Because uh, with uh, with the Touch IC problems on the 6 Plus, um, you know. We've, uh, I think, a lot of repair shops have, have fixed so many of these damn things, and um, Apple decided to build them into the screen now. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, we're probably not going to have any touch IC problems on the 6S. Even if we did have them, a screen replacement will fix them. So, um, so there, so the mystery is solved. All right. 343S00014 Mason 3D Touch IC chip built into the screen.